Hey, this is Mike. I'm in Myrtle Beach, South Carolina, visiting Grand Strand Nissan, and I'm checking out an awesome car, 2016 Nissan Maxima. Now, this is the SR trim level. Now, this is the new four-door sports car that Nissan has recently released, and the SR is the most sportiest of the sports car, the four-door sports cars uh, in that trim level. So, let's go ahead and check it out. The color is called bronze and it's a really neat like a brown like a dark brown color but it really stands out on the lot and check out the wheels 19 inch diamond cut machined aluminum wheels with the aluminum popping out there from the black giving that a real high co contrast you have, of course, four-wheel disc brakes. And one of the features of this vehicle is the remote start. So here's the key. And I'm going to go ahead and start it up. See if you can check it out here. See if it'll focus. Okay, so right there you can see it locks and unlocks. And then you can open up the trunk. But this top button right here is for the remote start. So you just have to make sure it's locked by pushing the lock button. And then you immediately push and hold the remote start button and it will crank right up so this is really handy on a cold or a hot day it'll get the climate control going and you know this one has the heated and cooled seat so it'll get those going as well so let's go ahead and check out here in the front you can see it has a really neat front end design sporty looking with the black and chrome and then you've got the kind of a ground effects here with the little points that gives it a really sporty look now on the SR trim level you get the LED projector headlights here in the front for the low beams and halogen to the right there for the high beams you also have the fog lights down here as well And you can see it has the 4DSC, four-door sports car, little badge in there. Okay, so the key also, you notice it's just this little oval box I guess you can say but you can lock and unlock the doors with the key but also you can just take the key and put it in your pocket so right now the vehicle's locked and all I have to do is walk up and I can push this button unlocks the door I can relock it by pushing that same button so here's the inside of the passenger door really cool styling with the the angles and everything it has the diamond textured metal accents there metallic accents and then you have this ascot leather suede here on the side and you have that on the seats and the steering wheel actually you got alcantara leather on on the seats but we'll check that in a second then you have this stitching there pockets to put some cup holders stuff like that plus this shiny black accent here which really makes it pop out so the doors are very impressive in my book Not to mention, I just want to show you, uh, it is a powered, uh, automatic power window. But right here, you have the acoustic glass with the, uh, you can see it, it's separated. Uh, with It's kind of sandwiched with the acoustic material on this inside. And you have two pieces of glass um, laminating the inside and out to help with the sound dampening. Which is pretty cool. You have the maximum metallic badge there. Alright, power seat here on the passenger side and check out these seats. Man, you have the Alcantara suede inserts quilted on the inside and then the outside is the soft Ascot leather with the contrast stitching. You have blue contrast stitching. Hopefully you can see that in the, in the video here. Plenty of leg room. 
and then you have the diamond textured metallic accent here on the dashboard as well and let's check out the glove compartment it is a felt lined glove compartment plenty of room in there plenty of room actually really let's take a look here in the back seat You have the same styling in the back doors as the front with all the suede and the metallic accents and all that good stuff. Really cool looking. And the back seats also have the Alcantara diamond quilted suede inserts surrounded by the Ascot leather and the blue contrast stitching. Really amazing seats. All right, so let's look here. This is your armrest. Place to put some drinks. Also a place to put your cell phone. You can prop it up in there. You have some vents back here. Have some back seat storage. Plenty of leg room. Also, this has the uh, latch system. The lower anchors and tethers for children latch system. Uh, also known as ISOFIX. And typically they call that in Europe but uh, it has the little anchors here. Actually, these are the attachments, and then you have the anchors behind the seat there for the car seats. Really awesome system that keeps the car seat uh, very secure in the case of the, an accident or something. And I have a whole I have a video on that if you want to check it out. You got the four-door sports car Easter egg in there as well. Let's take a look here in the back. So it has the SR badge dual exhaust for the 3.5 liter 300 horsepower engine to breathe. So let's go ahead and open up the trunk and check it out. It's got the spoiler. It's got the black spoiler. Low profile. Pretty cool there. So let's take a look here in the trunk. See what it looks like has the backup camera also you have sonar sensors on the corners help you not hit things there's a little round circles so you do have the ability to lower the back seats so basically doubling your storage capacity but here's your back your your cargo area and it does have a looks like a cargo mat there rolled up and we've got a front tag in case you want to bolt that on under here is your spare tire and tools all right now your fuel door is on the driver's side which is very convenient but check this out it's lock it's a locking automatically locking fuel door so once I unlock the doors it unlocks the fuel door as well so now I can open it and that cool so here's the the fuel door you have the cap little plastic tether here and a place to hang your uh, fuel cap right in here all right Take a quick quick look at the window sticker. You can use the pause button if you want to get more details. Take a look here, I'll give you another perspective. The seats just really, that diamond quilted seats just really uh, get me excited. I really love those. So you have the heated side mirrors here. All right, let's pop the hood. Take a look at the engine. So to open the hood, there's a little latch. You can actually see it in there. It's a little bit to the right of the Nissan symbol. You stick your hand in, move it towards the inside of the vehicle, and lift it up a few inches, and it'll go up all the way. The rest the rest of the way by itself 3.5 liter 300 horsepower 261 pound-feet of torque paired up with the extronic 
CVT transmission that simulates seven gear ratios. Really awesome transmission. I do have a test drive of one of these, not the SR, but another model where you can actually see the test in the test drive video, the gears cycling through and you cannot distinguish. You can't tell this is actually a CVT transmission. Uh, it, it does a really good job of cycling through the gears extremely fast. It's really awesome. Much, much, much faster you can, that you can possibly do with a manual transmission. So one of the things I want to show you here, it has this bar across the back. You see the strut towers and then you have this reinforcement bar across the top and it mounts right here and it goes all the way across. This gives you a really, really strong front end and a stable front end. It really solidifies the, the frame and the engine. Since this is a unibody uh, system, uh, this is you know one area where some vehicles are a little bit weaker so they really and reinforced it with that uh, that bar there that reinforcement all right so let's get behind the wheel and check out all the features on the inside here we are on the inside and yes I am infatuated with these diamond quilted seats absolutely love them they're comfortable and the driver's side has the power seat and the power lumbar support. So I've got the seat feeling really good. And man, check out that steering wheel. <laughs> okay, so let's not get ahead of ourselves. Here is the, let's go ahead and start here on the driver's door. It has the same styling as the other side. Pretty much a mirror of the other side, except for it has some more controls here. So your power windows are here front two are automatic power door locks are here and you can actually lock out the other power windows so you can lock out the other ones so that way um, you know let's say if you have kids or something in the back you don't want them playing with the windows so you can lock them out sort of like a child lock and your side mirrors are controlled uh, with this combination of this you just pick a side and then you use this little dial a uh, little pad there to adjust your sides mirrors heated side mirrors by the way with illuminated turn signals on them by the way uh, you can check out my night video for more information on that but you pick a side you, you adjust it then you put it back in the center so that way you don't mess up your already adjusted mirrors so here on the left side we have your little pop the trunk button your trash control you can turn them off if you want to the uh, the trash control features are really good safety features. You want to leave it on unless you need to spin tires for some reason. Example, you're stuck in the snow or mud or something like that. Heated steering wheel button is right there. There's your dimmer switches for your gauges. And you can reset your trip with that button. And you notice it does have the diamond textured metallic accent there as well. So let's move on to one of my favorite things besides the seats is the steering wheel i mean this vehicle has the best one of the best steering wheels of all time it has the alcantara suede with the perforations in it i mean look at that you should feel it is super soft and comfortable super high quality feeling and then you have the blue accent stitching on the inside it's just crazy and then you have this little bolster here uh, perfect fits your hand like a glove right here and then you have the ascot leather around on the outside and it is a flat bottom or what Nissan calls a d-shaped steering wheel so has a lot of buttons it also has this metallic accent here I wish it was diamond if it was the diamond uh, textured that would be awesome like what's what we have over here I don't know if you can see the diamond texturing there it's actually you can actually feel it it's popped out it's not just it's not, it's not just visual it's also you know you can actually feel it but anyways getting ahead get, going off on a little tangent tangent there but uh, that would be cool if it was but it's the same it feels kind of the same it just doesn't have the diamonds in it anyways uh, you have some controls you got the paddle shifters and all these buttons but here on the right you have the cruise control you just make sure it's turned on you can make sure you turn it on and off right there 
and you'll have a little indicator on the right in the gauges showing that it's on and off plus uh, you can set it by going up and down actually down is set and then you can adjust your speed go by going up and down and then you can push cancel to cancel it now this isn't just your average everyday cruise control this is what they call an intelligent or an adaptive cruise control system uh, that is well actually has a radar system that keeps an eye on the vehicles in front of you and it will match their speed so look, just example you're going 70 miles an hour and all of a sudden you run up on somebody going 65 or 67 something like that this vehicle will see that vehicle match their speed and slow you down to their speed so that way you don't keep except you keep getting up on them too close and the distance that you match their speed uh, the distance away from the vehicle is adjustable so here's this button here and let me just this is important so let me ju kind of zoom in here so I'm gonna push this button and you see these bars uh, there's three two one this is the distance that you're following the vehicle in front of you so for me I like a, a far following distance I don't like to be close to people I like to have more reaction time uh, I don't like to you know it's a little bit dangerous if you're following too close uh, but this gives you the ability to you know you're actually in control of the vehicle you see the situation you're in and this is the ability to you know judge it the way you see fit so tighter you know if it's a real t tight traffic I guess you can have a little bit closer follow a distance otherwise people are just gonna cut in front of you and then you're gonna have a really short following distance but anyways also this has the forward collision warning system and this will alert you if you are about to hit something so and it actually can apply the brakes and slow you down quite a bit and it'll um, really cool safety feature but anyways um, th there's has these buttons down here as well these are separate from the cruise control this is your voice recognition and this is your phone button so if you need to make a call all you'd have to do is push the phone button and say call say Victor Damanov uh, Victor Dominoff, if he's in your phone book and you say it like it's spelled in your phone book, then it will call him. Uh, also, you can say the number, you know, one, two, three, four, five, or whatever. Um, so the, vo the voice recognition system and the phone are kind of paired in together. Somebody calls you, and now this is all if you, once you pair your Bluetooth phone with the system, somebody calls you, you hear some ringing through the sound system, you push this button and you start talking. You say, hey, how you doing? And talk to the person. And then when you're done, you can hang up with that button as well. Now the voice recognition system does more than just make calls and, and stuff. You can actually, you know, put it, go to a specific address on the navigation. You can turn to a certain station. Uh, there's lots of different commands that you can say and you want to learn these commands uh, if you have a vehicle like this or any vehicle that has a voice recognition system because it is a very good convenience feature but also a super awesome safety feature because you're staying productive while your hands are on the wheel and your eyes are on the road. It's awesome. It, it, it make you live longer. You're, you're gonna get more done. It's, it's, it's amazing. So really cool features there. So here on the left side, we have a combination of controls here. Your volume for your radio. And you have this, you have your source for like AM, FM, satellite radio, that kind of thing. But these buttons here are depending on what screen you're on. So right now, uh, if I just go up and down on this, this is going to change through uh, the radio st the, the the radio so if I had the radio on so I'm gonna go ahead and turn it off on okay so I'm gonna go use the up and down and it's gonna change through uh, the presets here on the radio okay but and it'll it'll tell me on that screen but if you use these buttons which correspond with the center screen there's some screens where you can use this to scroll and make a selection so uh, depends on what you're actually doing but it does give you the ability to control both screens uh, without taking your hand off the wheel which is pretty cool so we'll check out we'll check these out in just a minute the paddle shifters are right here behind the steering wheel they're not actually attached to the steering wheel uh, and you can shift through 
your gears, your seven gear ratios with the plus and minus here. And that's really cool. And, and that was something you would, you know, use in your, um, which I'll show you when we get to the shifter. If you really want to accelerate fast or if you just want to have downshift or something like that, you need to go downhill and uh, you need to downshift. So there's a couple different reasons why you'd want to use the paddle shifters. Usually if you want to play around and, and get sporty. And it's really cool. So check out my test drive video because you can see it cycle through the seven gear ratios very quickly. It's amazing. So over here is your headlight controls for your LEDs. And uh, it does have the daytime running lights at uh, LEDs as well. And then your fog lights are controlled right here. It does have an automatic feature, so that's pretty cool. You just put on automatic and forget about it. So on this side, your windshield wipers are controlled. Okay, so let's check out these gauges here in the center. It has your RPMs there to the left with your coolant temperature, your engine coolant temperature, I want to clarify that, and then your speedometer there to the right with your fuel gauge. And um, so you notice the fuel gauge has this little pump there and it's showing a little arrow to the left showing which side your fuel door, on, door is on. So that's pretty cool. So this has the blind spot monitoring system. So when there's, when there's a vehicle in your blind spot, it's going to alert you here. Also, it's going to give you a, this little thing is going to eliminate right here. So. If there's somebody in your blind spot, especially if you put your turn signal on, it's really going to get your attention. You have your time there, your outside temperature, pretty warm day. And so you have this screen here, really nice blue screen, easy to see, soft, easy on the eyes. Uh, your odometer, how many miles to empty, that kind of stuff. But let's go ahead and use these buttons, these left and right buttons, to cycle through. So we're right now we're in a specific screen. Uh, your driving aid screens with your blind spot monitoring system. So I'm going to go to the left and you notice all of a sudden all these little icons pop up. So I'm going to go all the way over here to the home screen. This is going to give us a compass and your miles per hour digital speedometer. And it kind of tells you what your radio is doing there at the bottom. So scrolling to the right, this gives you more information on your radio and specifically your radio. Scrolling to the right again, uh, this is your navigation screen. So if you have a a specific address you know set up that you're headed to it's going to give you some turn time turn by turn directions in this screen scrolling to the right again this will give you information as far as your average fuel economy um, stuff like that and you know how many miles you've driven it's your basic drive computer all right so right here will give you uh, your average miles per gallon plus you're just going to give you a real-time bar while you're driving so you can see what you're getting in the moment uh, back to the driving aid screen. Tire pressure. Um, this is not going to show up while you're just sitting here. While you're driving, it's going to be more accurate. Uh, I'm not sure, but the the reason why, but the sensors, um, you know, only turn on when the vehicle's driving. It's because they're sometimes just sitting at a, sitting still. They're not accurate, so they don't want to you know get you all paranoid about the your tire pressure. And it's going to always alert you. You don't actually have to keep an eye on it constantly. It, it'll alert you if you go out of specifications. All right, so here's your sporty screen, and it's gonna give you like your power. <laughs> you got your power there, and then your miles per hour, and then your, this is your um, oil pressure, but there on the right is your transmission temperature. So this is your engine oil, I mean your engine coolant temperature and this is your transmission temperature so if you're doing some really aggressive driving you can really keep an eye on that and you notice it doesn't have the soft blue anymore now we've got an aggressive red and orange background it gives you a really um, you know get you excited all right back to the blue um, this is the warning uh, anything you know messages will show up here and you can go into settings and change you know the different things that are on the outside of the screen there and also adjust your clock and all that stuff. So there's kind of a rundown, the basic information that you'd find on the center screen there. And like I said, you don't actually have to scroll through and try to look at everything. It'll alert you if there's anything that needs your attention. And, um, but yeah, it's a really cool screen. Speaking of screens, there's another one. It's right over here. Now this is a big touch screen. You can use it with the touch screen. You also have some buttons around the outside but you also can use it with this little dial here. So you can 
uh, change through different things with that. Uh, you have the the home button, back button, and all, and you know, like a little joystick here that you know you can adjust. You can actually go look around and stuff like that on the map. Um, then you ha have the ability to turn to zoom in and out. Um, so this is a really cool thing. Keeps your hand down here next to the shifter, so you're not reaching up and punch, pushing buttons, um, you know, on the screen there. But you have, you know, it's a, it's a dual system to where you can use it do two different ways. But I'm going to. Uh, you know, we're going to use the touch screen here because I'm going to go into a little bit of detail. You have your CD player here at the top, and just want to mention a lot of people say, Hey, you know, some cars don't have CD players nowadays, and this one does, and you know, I understand. But you know, if, if you're concerned about that, let's say next model they don't have it, just take your CDs and, and rip them into WAV files because I know a lot of people say, You know, CDs sound better than MP3s, and you know. Some people can tell a difference. I can't really tell a difference, but some people can. And if you can, you just rip it into a WAV file and play it off of your off of a USB or your phone or something like that. And then that way you retain the quality, but you're you know not stuck with carrying around stacks and stacks of CDs and all that stuff and fumbling around trying to put them in and out of there while you're driving. Um, so just wanted to mention that. So let's go here to the home screen so we can check out some cool stuff. And this is a customizable screen. It has like icons, sort of like you'd see on a cell phone or, you know, computer. And uh, so you can go to previous des destinations. Nissan Connect apps are pretty cool. That way you can, um, you know, play Pandora and different things like that through your, through your uh, cell phone. So you notice here at the bottom, we have some icons. So I'm gonna go in here to audio. So right now we've got just plant to seeing what your audio is doing, what, what station you're on and all that cool stuff. It's got some colors, which is pretty cool. And then you have your presets there at the bottom and check out this source. The source is, I need to make sure to push it. The source is all the different ways you can play music through the sound system. AM, FM, satellite radio, CD, USB iPod one, USB two iPod, Bluetooth audio and auxiliary input. So, so there's eight different ways of playing music through the sound system. CD players are going to eventually, you know, go the way of the 8-track, so um, just kind of give you that heads up. Okay, so we're back here. Um, we can go on the phone screen. Once we pair a phone, which is asking us to connect a phone, you'll be able to go into your phone, have access to your phone book, call history. You can uh, send and receive text messages, which is pretty cool. Um, so you also have like an actual pad with numbers on it that you can dial numbers, stuff like that. Uh, information this will give you um, <laughs> really cool because it gives you like weather and this is let's go ahead and go to graphical map and check that out wow so right now it's, it gives us a, a broad view of course we can zoom in and out um, on that screen but let's change that to let's zoom in there we go. A little bit closer, but you don't see quite as much. But isn't it a cool map? It's very clear, easy to read, everything sharp and crisp. And you know, you have the, um, let's go ahead and zoom out again, because you can actually see the radar clouds and stuff like that. So not only do you just get like, hey, it's sunny today, everybody knows that, but what about, the, let's say there's some scattered thunderstorms, you can actually see where they're at and where they're headed and stuff like that, really cool. All right, so let's get out of there. And that's part of your, you know, satellite radio weather system. And you have current conditions, five day forecast, that kind of stuff. You can get sports, you can get traffic, stocks, fuel prices. This is pretty cool because you can actually sort it by price, select the fuel. Um, you, you can get the nearest one or you can get the cheapest one, that kind of stuff. Uh, really awesome. Uh, movie listings. <laughs> so lots of cool stuff in the info screen. And then we've got the main menu where you can have the you know shortcuts. Uh, this shows your map, so we, we saw that before. Navigation uh, button will actually give you the ability to put in a specific street address. You can go into an address book. You can um, you know you can save favorites and stuff like that. You can save your home address, so you can be anywhere in the United States. Push home, it'll take you home. That kind of thing. All right, and then settings. This is where you can pair your phone. You can uh, adjust uh, navigation settings and sound and all that good stuff. Volume. You can 
whether it's going to beep and all that stuff when you put when you choose different things so anyways um, that's kind of the basics on the touch screen you have the uh, the menu button the map and the audio buttons here um, a little bit redundant there uh, you have a camera button here this will tell this gives you the ability to turn the predictive course lines on or off which we're going to check out right now let me go ahead and put it in reverse so right now we can see the backup camera it also lets us know that the center sensor is on on all four corners so right now we've got these lines and they will actually as I turn the steering wheel you can see them turn to give it and you know get kind of give us an estimated trajectory of the vehicle as we back up and there you notice they're different colors and the reason for that is um, you don't want to get too close this is a wide angle lens so it gives us a little bit of distortion uh, more view but more a little bit of distortion of the screen so we have to pay attention to how close we are this red zone is very very close and then you know you know you definitely want to pay attention to the colors um, stay in the green or the yellow for sure all right so down here is your climate controls you have a dual zone your temperature controls for the driver and passenger uh, right now it's in dual we can turn that off and then that way it's synced so both of them are the same temperature like that if we want to go back into the dual zone we can just push this dual button or we can just start adjusting the passenger side and it'll go back into the dual zone your fan speeds here you can turn it on and off mode is where you want the air to blow your front and rear defrosters and you can recirculate the air there and check out that black bezel around the the whole center stack it looks really cool push button start to start it we started it with the remote start once you get into vehicle you still have to push that start button before all this st stuff turns on but let's go ahead and turn it off because I want to show you actually how to turn it on without the, the key so you get in the vehicle you have the key in with you as long as you have the key in with you you're good to go so you just get in here you push the hold the brake and you push the start button and it starts right up you got this little welcome screen here which is pretty cool okay so this is awesome perfect place to put a cell phone right in here it goes way in there Let's see if i can show you all in there i don't have my cell phone in here because it interferes with the microphone but um you can fit i have a note samsung note note 4 which is a really big phone that fits right in there and then you have the um you have the usb ports and the auxiliary inputs right there so you can plug it in like literally i could put my phone in there and plug it in and then close this up and it, and it is fine i mean it's completely in there and i could put other stuff in there really if i wanted to cup holders are here okay so here's the shifter so let me switch hands here okay so the shifter is really cool. It has the black accent with the chrome around it, and then you have the, the leather with the blue contrast st stitching. And then you have this leather boot here with the contrast stitching on it to kind of give it a sporty manual transmission look. Of course, it's automatic transmission, but anyways. Okay, so let's go ahead and we put it in reverse. We know about the backup camera. We know about the sonar sensors. Uh, so we continue down, neutral, and then drive. Now this is your normal drive position, and it will it's crazy how quick this thing can shift through the gears and and get you up to speed absolutely amazing it does have a sport mode as well normal and sport so remember I mentioned the paddle shifters now the paddle shifters um, there's a couple different ways you can shift gears with the paddle shifters you know of course but you can push it over like that okay so now I can use the paddle shifters right now we're in first gear and I can cycle through it's not gonna let me go out of too far out of range because we're just sitting still but we can use the paddle shifters to cycle through the gears we can also bump it up and down to change through the gears sort of like a ratchet shifter so you know plus and minus next gear downshift upshift you get the idea so we've got the ratchet shifter and the paddle shifters which is really cool and simulates a seven speed transmission so even though it is a CVT and I know a lot of people gripe about that but I don't think they really fully understand uh, how it works and you know how, how it has evolved to the point where it is now to where you cannot tell that it's a CVT it actually um, is an awesome transmission and I, I, I have a 
uh, test drive video demonstrating that and I want people to check it out that are, that are skeptical you know because you know of, of course um, you know if you don't know you don't know so anyways so you have your uh, right now I have the cooled seats heated and cooled seats for driver and passenger and you just turn it like a dial to the cold side or the hot side I get it on the cold side because it's a pretty warm day so here is this armrest and it's kind of flush with the rest of it looks pretty cool and this lifts up and in here you have a pretty decent felt line pocket but right now you can't really see so let me turn on the night vision here so we can take a look inside it's a felt line it has a power supply 12 volt in there and you know pretty good size for you know losing stuff basically so that's going to be the place where you actually get it all cluttered up all right so let's take a look at the rearview mirror and the rearview mirror has your home link garage door openers it's an auto dim rearview mirror and it's auto dimming actually right now because i have the shade covering up the light sensor but you can turn that feature on and off here right here is the place to put your shades you have the tap light quick reading light buttons here for the little led lights and you can turn on and off all the lights with putting pushing that button there and then you can have it to where when you open up the doors the light turns on or not you can choose whether you want to do that this is pretty cool check out my night video this has a little tiny ambient light that illuminates kind of like a moonlight on the inside of the vehicle so you can kind of get your bearings to where it's not pitch black but it, it doesn't interfere at all i mean it's really cool so check out my night video There's a mirror and light and the visors. Same thing on that side. So let's take a look at the visibility in the back. Let's see here. Get it just right. Okay, so. Not too bad there you got the low profile headrests and yes i'm gonna look at the seats again because i really like them and what's not to like about those seats i mean they're awesome i mean look at that look at that suede super soft suede go ahead and feel it i know you can't but anyways you got to. You got to get, see one in real life so you can check it out. Okay, so there it is. 2016 Nissan Maxima SR trim level. Really cool. I love them. Absolutely love them. So Grand Strand Nissan has an awesome dude. He's a friend of mine. He works here. His name is Victor. And I'll leave his contact information in the description in case you're interested in a vehicle like this. And... In addition, if you're let's say you're anywhere in the United States, you can get the, you can buy a car from Victor. It's really cool. He has this uh, the ability to sell to anybody in the United States. But let's say you're a little bit uncomfortable with that. Then there's this guy, other guy I know that helps you out helps you out with negotiations with the dealerships. I'll leave his contact information in the description. His name is Brent. He'll hook you up, like literally save you money. He'll is a full service uh, buying, and he's just like one guy. He's not like a company, like big company that you're gonna get lost in the paperwork and get shuffled around. And you call him. He's the main guy. He's going to help you directly with dealerships. Amazing, amazing, amazing service. This is something that I've really thought that there was a need in the market for, uh, kind of like a buyer's agency type thing. So Brent can actually negotiate the price. He can you negotiate everything. All you have to do when he gets done is go pick up your car. It's absolutely amazing. And this could be anywhere in the United States, you know. So um, anyways, I'll leave his information in the description. And thank you for watching. I know this has been a long video. There's lots of features. I appreciate your patience. And thank you to Grand Strand Nissan for allowing me to show off an awesome car. See you next time.